Hey guys, this is Ben with Shirt Photography and I want to go over my newest goals template. On this template, there are lots of different options. So to look through the different layers that come with this, we have text layers, subject layers, all kinds of different things. The text layers and the things that you're going to need to probably change for your own team are labeled in red. So you're going to probably need to change this Bettendorf soccer to your own team name. Uh, to, to change that, all I have to do is hit T for the type tool and then highlight this text and retype whatever name you want to in. So say you do Durant soccer and Durant soccer, if you don't, if they're not gold, uniforms and maybe you want to change the highlight on this text down here I'm going to go up to this FX up to the top here double click on that and this box will pop up on this box I want to go to bevel and emboss and then I can change this orange color by clicking on it to a different color whatever color I, I so desire hit OK and OK and it changes the highlight on that if you need to And that's the same thing works on this goals text down up up the top here. That is right here. I double click on the FX again, go to bevel and boss, click on the color and select the color I want and hit OK. And it will change up there also for you. So there are the options to change that highlighting highlight of the gold on each of the text if you need it to. We have foreground smoke that kind of cover up some of the foreground balls and the athlete's feet there. You notice it says insert subjects in front of the balls here. So all the subjects that are going on top of the balls are here. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six girls there. They have there. And you can obviously put a lot more in there if you so wished. But I have all my subjects in that are on top of the balls there and all the subjects that are behind the balls and the one further back here. The ones behind the balls, I don't really have to worry about their feet or where their shadows or anything are because they're they're hidden behind the, the mountain of balls. The ones in front, I do have to do a little bit of worrying about. So for example, on this girl, if I zoom in here, you can see how her foot kind of goes behind this soccer ball. That is this girl here. If I disable the Slayer mask, you can see how originally it was just laying on top. I added a mask. So if I delete this here and start over, add a mask, which is this little button here. And now whenever I paint it in black, I have a black brush and a little bit harder, slightly smaller. Something for this for this particular one. Go even harder here. And I'm gonna start masking off where that is. I'm gonna do it hundred percent too on my opacity. Start making a little, making that disappear. And obviously her toe doesn't, it's going to be hovering on top of another ball. I'm going to make her toe disappear a little bit too there. If you go too far and start erasing too much, I can paint with white. So I switch white to my foreground. And I bring it back where I need it to go. For example, this ball I also had disappearing behind a couple other balls. And I just kept erasing till I got that. And it's okay, even her hands are can go behind another ball too, so you can erase part of her hand if you if you do. And then her toe is the last thing here. Make that disappear a little bit behind this ball. So now it looks like her feet and the different balls that you used are hidden within there within the layers of this volleyball and so I've had to go ahead and add a little mass on a few of these different girls to hide parts of their bodies behind the soccer balls there this particular athlete I did not because her feet go low enough that they're kind of hidden by the text and also the smoke so I didn't have to worry about her so just a tip that if you place them low enough they won't also have to be any masking or erasing going on Let's check into a few other layers here. 
we have this flag that I actually had this athlete holding. It's actually one of my uh, background uh, pieces that I had her holding as a flagpole. And then the flag is in there for you to add. So if you have an athlete holding a pole or a broomstick or whatever you want them to hold, um, you can add a flag and then adjust the color on that flag by double clicking on this little icon and then sliding this around to make it different colors and whatever your team color would need to be. So you have the flag there. We also have lots of layers of soccer balls. So you'll notice this says large soccer ball piles and then we have individual soccer ball piles. I'm gonna shut these subjects off just so we can see the soccer ball piles without everybody in there. So we have the, the individual soccer ball piles, which I'm gonna shut off the large ones so you can see the individual ones. These individuals are all there separately. So if I start moving them, I can drag these all around and they're all on their own layer piled within there. And I spent a lot of time layering them and shading them and, and making them fit within that. However, there's already like 100 balls right there. I did not want there. I didn't want there to be a thousand different balls. So what I did is took all these individual balls, duplicated the entire group, and then flattened it, and flattened, and then made multiple groups of that that are in here now as separate ones. That just make an entire mountain in the end. So there's lots of different soccer ball piles in there for you to use and move around if you need to, but for the most part, um, there wouldn't be a reason to, to move it. The only thing I can think of is if you wanted to place some of your own personalized soccer balls in there. Sometimes the team will have a logo on one or it'll be a different color or something like that. You can mix and match some of those in there. What I do is go to my move tool, make sure auto select is checked and layer. And for example, on these top ones, I'd want to say, okay, I want to put it where this ball is right there. So that it automatically went to that ball. I could shut that one off and add my own into that spot. And obviously you just have to make sure it's lit and shaded correctly. So the light is coming from more the top or in the center here. And on the right, the light is coming more from the right or more from the left over here. Uh, down here, I would have to, if you wanted to place it within this layer here, it's all flattened together so I'd move it into there where I wanted it to and then just mask off the areas where I don't want to show up similar to how we just did those athletes feet so you could inter you could place your own balls within this mountain if you wanted to it takes a little bit work and not 100% necessary but it's an option that you can use other things to point out are we have the goals layer which I went over we have the lights which are we have a glow on the left and the right and also a left light and a right light they can maneuver around if you would need to but again not necessarily I think they're placed pretty well already we also have the background fog in different layers that kind of help give it depth and dimension and we have the background which does include a layer of grass there if you would need it but typically this mountain of balls is gonna take up the entire foreground and it's not going to be needed. So there's lots of different fun ways to use this template and you can include lots of different players if you stagger them and put them within that. You can even include more mountains in the background by duplicating this entire mountain and, and putting it in the back. Uh, there's all kinds of different things. We also have a similar kind of sister template to it called Net Dreams which is an individual template just for um, just for a more of a fine art individual piece instead of the group and volume work. For this individual piece it's very specific lighting of just off to the left. The balls are all lit differently where just the balls are lit from the left side and not necessarily from the top or from the right um, to give it more of a dramatic dreamy feel rather than the brightness of these soccer balls here. So they're lit a little bit differently and they're available as an add-on if you want to add both those on together. Otherwise, this team template does come with an individual and memory mate for your team. So we have an individual like this where you can just place them standing in the front. We also have uh, the memory mate where an individual and team go together. 
or you can place the poster and the individual together in that. So lots of different options for the this template that you can use. Be sure to pay attention again to the samples and the lighting diagram that come with this to see how I posed them and lit them. I know you're going to enjoy this template and be sure to check out some of our other actions, templates, and brushes. Talk to you later.